Hi there, this is Ian Martin from uh, Skipedia and uh, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, the French Pyrenees because I was out there uh, a couple of weeks ago, earlier this January 2018 and I was just so impressed with the place. Um, Go to the French Pyrenees is a, a marketing organisation that covers a number of resorts, hopefully you can see all of that, basically covers all the way from the Atlantic through the Pyrenees over to the Mediterranean you can fly into airports like Perpignan, Carcassonne, Toulouse, Tarblord is the closest to many of them here, uh, but also Biritz as well. And if you really wanted to, Barcelona is only just off the map down here. So a lot of options. And one real thing to look out for is the fact that those flights are often cheaper because there's so many choices and most of them are really only used in the summer. I went to the Oak Pyrenee area, which is just here. Uh, and the first place I went to was the Pyrenees de Valais uh, ski area. If you have a look at this, it's actually um, a new setup this year for these four different resorts Piau Anglais, Saint Lary, Valuron, and Perigude. And you can see this is a border with uh, Spain here, very close to the border, hence in Saint Lary, there's a really strong Spanish influence there. A lot of Spaniards around. Uh, and lots of tapas bars in town. It is French, but it's a very different type of resort. In fact, this is a piece map here. Hopefully you can see uh, all of that. Yeah, it's a big area in saint Lary, a hundred uh, kilometers of uh, piste. You stay here down the town at 800 meters, I think it is. Catch the lift up in the mornings to either, uh, you know, 1700 meters and then all of your skiing is between 1700 and 2400 and it's a big area. It's suitable for um, all abilities. Uh, I would recommend it for families in particular. There's a lot going on in the town as well and that Spanish influence makes it really good. I drove over from San Lari and you, all of these are connected by shuttle so you can take advantage of the Pyrenees de Valle lift pass if you want to. You could stay in one resort and uh, go and ski in one of the other resorts for a day or, or vice versa. In Peyragud over here, this is a much smaller resort, uh, the Les Agudes village, uh, Perusud village, really two sides of one mountain. But you know, decent skiing, I found some nice off-piste here. It's a very small place, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it you know, for anyone in advance for a week, but yeah, ski there for a couple of days. And one of the great things about this area is the uh, the spas. There are spas all over the place here. This Balnia one is very near to Peregrud. Absolutely amazing place. Sensoria is in um, San Lari itself. And they are excellent and I can highly recommend them. And um, there's a picture of the Sensoria spa there. And then um, I think we'll hopefully be able to find one of the Perigud Spa as well. A lot of accommodation options there. I stayed in the Mercure, which is right next to the bottom of the lift. Um, you know, very good. Uh, that's a photo of the uh, Balnea Spa. It has indoor and outdoor spas. The Japanese spa outside is amazing, highly recommended. After that, I drove over to Grand Tourmalet, and I'll have to draw back because this is quite a big ski area here. It's the largest of all of those ski areas. Effectively, it links the two resorts that uh, used to be kind of separate, known as La Mangie and Barège over here. And it's a big area. Um, one of the key highlights is the Pic de Midi. You can catch a lift from La Mangie cable car in two stages up to the Pic de Midi here, which is the uh, highest um, observatory uh, in Europe. And I've got a picture of it here. It's actually possible to stay up there overnight and get these amazing sunsets and sunrises. They have a space for 27 people up there. And that is right at the top of this uh, peak here, which you can just about uh, see. And there's some great off-piste runs from there as well. This free ride area runs down through here and you can ski down through to Barege, tremendous run going down by the uh, lake or from the mid station. You have some great runs either coming back into La Mangie or coming down this way where you end up meeting the road and catching a shuttle back.
So Le Manger is a place I would really recommend for more advanced skiers. I think it's a great place to go for a weekend. Uh, I would hire a guide, which is what I did, go up uh, the Peak de Midi and do some of the off-piece runs. And I plan to go back there again next year and do that. I then moved over to Cotteret, which is the closest resort to uh, uh, Tarblord Airport. Now this is a small ski area. You know, it's just, whoops, just uh, uh, 30 kilometers a piece in one bowl but they have a lot of snow. And this is a suitable, great place, I would say, for um, a romantic weekend or a family with young children. The base down here with the beginners areas is excellent. Um, the actual uh, building at the top of the uh, uh, cable car has got really good restaurants and excellent Wi-Fi. Uh, it looks right out onto all of the uh, beginner slopes where you've got um, covered um uh, covered lifts you know for your little ones but i actually had good snow as they regularly get because the snow gets caught under here as it comes in along the valley and they have their snow depths are very good in fact they've only got snow cannons down in this area there's only six of them i think maybe ten they don't boast about the number of snow cannons they have because it's so good their snow park is uh, sponsored by oakley i skied a lot of these off-piece runs down here and round here and the snow was great. What I particularly liked about Cotteret was not even um, the, the main ski area but um, they also have access to an area called uh, Pont de uh, Span which is a cross country and uh, snowshoeing and walking area. You take a, you either drive up there to the car park it's about seven kilometers away from Cotteret itself which is a very pretty village uh, and then from there, you just make your way. And I actually just went for a run, you know, up here by this river, really beautiful, not many people around. I saw some Izar, which are the local, um, in fact, it's in the logo of uh, Cortere itself. Um, that uh, in the center of the logo is the Izar, which is the Pyrenean uh, chamois. I saw some of those while I was out there, not many people around, and all in all, uh, a tremendous. Uh, way of spending some time if you want to do something apart from skiing. So all in all, I was very impressed with the French Pyrenees um, and my message would be um, if you don't go out there and try it yourself. It's less expensive, it's better value and uh, the resorts uh, are pretty empty. Um, so that's my message, go to the French Pyrenees.